Hello one and all, I'm Sam from Seen Through Glass and today is a very exciting day. Trackworthy have arranged my next loan car for my trip here in LA, an Aston Martin Vanquish. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I've got a jam-packed day with various shoots and things going on, so I thought, why not bring you guys along with me? So here we go, the Vanquish. I cannot believe it is raining today. First, I've got so much on, but secondly, who wants to pick up a car like this in the pouring rain? Very initial impressions, the steering wheel is square. That is, the, that is quite weird. It doesn't feel uncomfortable, it's just a bit odd. Got the sat nav going. As I say, I'm off first to meet up with Matt Farrer from The Smoking Tire, filming a video for Seen Through Glass, all about driving in the canyons. He is an expert. It's one uh, part of LA driving that I haven't really figured out properly yet. So I thought if there was anyone to go to, it is Matt. First impressions of this car are that it's very, very good. <laughs> I am very comfortably cruising to my first shoot location. It's about a 40 minute drive. I've just been on the highways, really not doing very much. I'm not in sport, I'm not in sport suspension, but it is just so comfortable and there is leather everywhere. That is what nice is, it feels immediately expensive. This square steering wheel I am finding really odd but everything else feels super nice. The only thing that feels a little bit sort of Aston is the tech screen, so the infotainment screen. It's just this tiny little sort of pop-up, quite, I think, badly designed screen. Everything else feels and looks amazing in my opinion. I cannot wait to spend the next two days with this car. So we have arrived at our first shoot location, which is the smoking tire one take. Sam from Trackworthy has got the drone up somewhere, which is totally freaking me out. And Matt is about to go for a drive in an Evo, Evo 10? Anyway, there's the Vanquish all parked up. That car was mega on the roads up here. A few other cars, nice M3 here, Matt's personal RS. And uh, yeah, we're just setting up, getting ready for uh, my video with Matt. And uh, Sam is just getting some epic shots with the super, super creepy drone. Okay, so update. Um, some of the cars that Matt has been filming with this morning have left. Um, very shortly, we're going to be jumping into his Focus RS, which has been tuned for a quick video on his channel. He's doing like the first impressions video, so psyched for that. And then we're going to come back and jump in to the Vanquish for a bit of fun and a bit of tuition of Canyon Driving from Matt Parra. <laughs> I think we Wait, good. check that mount if the if the windshield wiper hit it. I don't know why that was on, but yeah, we're good. Okay, oh, that's that good. Was... Okay, well, let me do a little intro. Matt, welcome to the channel. What's up? Here, I like this angle down here. Our filming with Matt is over and we've relocated to this wonderful sort of valley to film some drone shots of the Vanquish to, uh, to, yeah, to fill up 
the video with Matt that's going to be going live on Seen Through Glass. It is a beautiful freaking location and this car is so good. We just hooned it down here from up the top of the hill. It sounds good, it feels good, it is heavy but I'm starting to get to grips with it and loving every second so far. Who would have known that I would have enjoyed Aston so much? I mean it's probably quite obvious but I'm surprised anyway. So flybys and drone action is done, which basically means we've finished up today's Vanquish shoot. That car is literally becoming better and better by the second. Sam from Trackworthy is just hooning it around the hills at the moment, and then I'm gonna be taking it back into LA, which means I get to enjoy the comfort again <laughs> before I head back for a few things. I've got a few friends turning up into town. We've got dinner later, still lots to do. in the canyons the true test comes back in LA because the entry to my underground parking lot is a headache I think you'll say even for the big Cadillac CTS V I had to be so careful that also had a carbon front splitter getting in and out because it's just it's just like it's just aggressive the ramping so I am a little bit nervous with the massive carbon splitter on the Vanquish. Even though when Aston Martin dropped it off, they did say there's already some pre-existing damage. It is the easiest thing to damage on these cars. But I'm pooing myself a little bit. So we're almost home and I'm then gonna be taking it very, very slowly up and down the ramp entrance to my car park. And it is in. It was actually a bit easier than I thought it was going to be. And that is going to mark the end of today's video. I have a bit of a mileage limit with the car for the 48 hours that I have it, as uh, you do on most manufacturer loans. And we covered some hefty mileage today and we've got lots planned for tomorrow. So I'm tucking the Aston up and I'm going to continue my night without it. It looks freaking mega.